After a journey of over three billion miles and nine years in flight, NASA's New Horizons spacecraft flies by Pluto and its moons on July 14, 2015. I'm Mark Holdridge, New Horizons and Counter Mission Manager. Doing successful science at Pluto depends on pinpoint accuracy in targeting New Horizons cameras. While traveling at a speed of 36,000 miles per hour, 14 kilometers a second. One of our challenges is that Pluto was only discovered in 1930, and its journey around the sun is 248 years, so we've only been following it for about one-third of its orbit. It's hard to know its precise position. So we're actually using the New Horizons long-range camera, LORI, to more accurately refine where Pluto is. Starting on January 25th, we're taking pictures using LORI, New Horizons' longest-range imager, which we use both for navigation and for science. Of course, we'll get more and more precise results as we get closer to Pluto, getting ready for our truly close approach and flyby on July 14, 2015. That's when we really need precise pointing, when we're whizzing by the planet and its moons. So here I am, like a tourist, visiting Washington, D.C., driving down the mall and trying to take a clear shot of the Washington Monument. Of course, to get the clearest picture, I have to move the camera, taking into account the speed of the car I'm riding in, and knowing exactly when to click the shutter. And for a large object like the Washington Monument, I have to take several images to get the whole monument in the field of view. That's just what we'll be doing with our long-range camera, which has a narrow field of view, taking lots of individual shots to make up a mosaic, or composite image. So for New Horizons, it's much more complicated than being a tourist. And since I'm not driving, why don't we try a little thought experiment? I'm going to put on a blindfold and then try to take a picture of the monument. At Pluto, New Horizons is more than four and a half light hours from Earth, so there's no way Mission Control can do any kind of real-time adjustment. All our commands have been sent up in advance. All our instruments are completely pre-sequenced. We've been at this for many years, planning and refining and replanning. Our encounter sequence has some 25,000 lines of code, and we don't want to make any last-minute changes that might create problems. But what we can do is change the time when we start the sequence based on updated navigation data as we get close. But in order to know where and when to start taking pictures, we have to know Pluto's exact location. And this is where LORI is once again our spyglass or optical navigation tool. So we do have to figure out exactly how far we are from Pluto. And we do that using the parallax effect. Sound complicated? Well, it is rocket science, but let's see how it works. See that traffic light? As we get closer, it seems to rise higher in the sky relative to the background objects. Simple geometry permits us to estimate our absolute distance to the object by measuring how much the background is shifting. For Pluto, as we approach, we use LORI to see how fast it's appearing to change position against the fixed background stars. It's only going to be in the final days we're going to get the best shots of Pluto and at vital navigation data needed. It's going to be awesome. But combining rocket science and lots of practice, we have a very good shot at getting some great shots of Pluto and its moons. Stay tuned and follow us online.